I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I'm Coach Victoria and in this video we're going to be talking to you about should I date right after a breakup? This is a really great question. I want to start out by saying that we are available for coaching if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session on your situation. You can find that on our website and book from there. That's right and the only way to do it is through the website. Mm -hmm. So obviously many of you guys that come to the channel are going through a breakup and you're hurting and it's very painful and you're confused on what to do. You're probably gonna have a lot of friends and family telling you uh, that you should start dating and try and find somebody new right after a breakup. Many times you're loyal and you're saying, nope, not ready to, I'm not going to. Right. But sometimes it's hard to decide, you know, what's right for you, should I start dating? Maybe they're dating somebody new. Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, they're dating somebody new. Maybe I should date somebody new. Right. So we're going to talk about some of the things that you want to consider before you decide on what to do. One of the first things that can be helpful to reflect on is your motive. What would you get out of dating someone new right now at this stage of your breakup? So really meditating on that, thinking about your reasons why. Mm -hmm. Reasons that most people cite are because they want to meet new people. Well, I always say that dating after a breakup can really expand your view of the world. Sometimes when we're in a relationship, especially a long-term one, we think so narrow-mindedly narrow about who our partner could be. So dating can expose you to different types of people, different attachment styles, different cultures, uh, different types of personalities that can really expand your view of what's possible for you. Mm -hmm. Some people use dating right after a breakup as a distraction. So there are unhealthy reasons as to why you would date immediately after a breakup. And we talk about this when we talk about when your ex has moved on very quickly. Sometimes people can be a distraction to avoid pain and hurt that comes from the breakup. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of the coin, dating can also be an opportunity for healing. You know, it is being vulnerable again. It is opening up yourself for potential rejection, for potential hurt, but also for potential love. Mm -hmm. So allowing yourself to receive love and affection and attention from others can be a healing thing. But one thing you want to consider is, you know, you want to consider the new person's feelings. Like say you start dating somebody new, mm -hmm. what are you going to do if your ex comes back? Exactly. You exactly. don't want to hurt somebody new and do to somebody else what was just done to you. Mm -hmm. And transparency is one of the most important things, in my opinion, when dating after a breakup, especially when you are still open to repairing your relationship with your ex. Yes. You know, so being able to tell a person. It might not be your opening line, okay guys? <laughs> be cautious in the way that you're approaching it. But it is important information to let someone know so that you're not leading them on. You know, to have a conversation with what some of your goals are, what some of your motives for dating are, and also be open to hearing what somebody else's motives are. Just like you might be curious about meeting new people, you might be reserved in some areas of dating, they might be too. And also be aware if your motive is like Craig had said, just because you know your ex is dating. Yep. You wanna be on equal footing as your ex. Or maybe you've seen your ex on a dating app. So you're thinking, well, I have to be active on this too since they are just because, you know, we need to be even here. So really think about, is your motive for you? Is it for what other people are pushing you to do? Are you ready for it? You know, asking yourself these types of questions. Yeah, and you better really think long and hard about doing it to try and make an ex jealous. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that often blows right up in your face. Right, right. And also think about the other person. You know, transparency is really important. We want to treat people like people and not like things or not like tools 
to manipulate and hurt other people, okay? So being as transparent as possible can help with that. Somebody mm -hmm. understands, okay, this person might not be as emotional as, as emotionally available as I am. Mm -hmm. And that factors into their decision if they want to keep dating you. So that honesty is important. Absolutely. And like I had said, don't be a double standard. You know, don't be shocked that your ex is dating if you also want to date. You can be, of course, <laughs> whatever emotions come up, come up. But, uh, you know, to, to say my ex can't date, but I'm allowed to date would be a double standard here. Yeah. How many times do you hear that on your calls? It's a lot. You know, and it's the, with the dating app. Well, I saw my ex on a dating app. How did you find out? Well, I was on the dating app. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, caught your red hand up there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so, yeah, honesty is, is really, really big. It also takes awareness of your own emotional availability. You can't be honest with somebody about where you're at when you don't know where you're at. Okay, so really checking in with yourself. Uh, there are several ways to do this. You know, we have courses that help you work on your attachment style to become more self-aware, to really reflect on your emotions to see what comes up. We also have a few questions for you to think about in this video. Some of the things that you can consider before a date is how are you feeling about meeting someone new? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on opening up your heart to someone? What are your intentions? And what feelings come up? It might be fear. You might be really scared before a first date after a major breakup. Mm -hmm. That's normal. You might be really excited. That's normal. You might be feeling really curious. I wonder what this person's gonna be like. I wonder what I'm gonna feel. You might be having a, a meta feeling, a feeling about a feeling. I wonder if I'm going to be nervous or I'm feeling scared about how I might feel later. So a lot of different emotions can come up in the dating process. So be prepared for that, but take things step by step. Definitely. Also think about during. Something that I hear very often uh, for those of you who are going through a breakup, wanting to repair it with an ex, during a date, you are constantly comparing everything that new person is doing to your ex. Well, my ex didn't chew that way. My ex wouldn't have ordered that. No, mm -hmm. my ex was a lot less talkative than that person is. <laughs> so a lot of times in our mind, we will be comparing and contrasting this new person it, to our past relationship. It's hard not to. It is really hard not to, you know, because that person is in your mind. A way to reframe this is thinking about what's new and what's different and being curious about that, you know, taking it a step further. Well, you know, my ex wouldn't have ordered that. I wonder why this person ordered that. Where are they from? What makes them interested in this type of cuisine? Or, you know, maybe this is a dish they're familiar with. So going further into that curiosity of this new person, trying to shift that focus away from just your ex. Yep. And bringing awareness towards all of this. Also, awareness towards yourself. Are you feeling guarded during this date? You know, maybe the other person tries to reach out and give you a friendly tap touch. <laughs> <laughs> a friendly touch of some sort. Maybe they're warm and giving you a lot of eye contact. What does it feel like to get that kind of attention from someone else? Yeah. Maybe you notice that the other person is closed off. You know, what is it like to, to be in that position? So bringing a lot more awareness into your experience. Mm -hmm. And also being open to having more fun than expected. Sometimes we can be in our heads a lot and expect an outcome and then we actualize that outcome. We think, well, I'm, I'm too nervous to go on a date. So we, when the date happens, you know, we materialize that versus thinking, what if I have a really fun time on this date? You know, what if, even if the other person is super boring, I have a good time, you know, mm -hmm. because I know that that's the energy that I can bring into this. Um, and are you allowing yourself to have fun? You know, coming out of a breakup and seeing how much hurt and pain can come from a relationship can be really somber. It can really make things feel very serious. Dating, especially in the early stages, is a lot about fun too. Being able to, to see the way you connect and explore with that person, uh, trying to laugh and have a good time with them. So we really talk highly about play, especially in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Play is so crucial to a connection. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to feel uh, playful when you feel guilty or depressed. Yeah, both. Yeah, but like, you know, a lot of times people are going on dates and they're like, I feel like I'm cheating. Mm -hmm. I hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm cheating. So you got to take it slow. 
Because if you don't, you're gonna get overwhelmed. And like I said, you wanna consider this other person or other people's feelings that how would you handle things? What would you do if your ex does come back? You don't wanna just drop them and hurt somebody else like you've been hurt. Exactly. So you have to really be thoughtful in considering, you know, okay, if I start dating, what will I do if some, my ex comes back? Okay, are you ready to deal with those consequences? Are you ready to deal with those issues and be thoughtful about other people and how it might Im impact them or affect them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know, being considerate really is the point that we're driving home here. And after a date, being able to reflect on that too. You might not have these feelings of guilt or even being triggered until some time has passed after the date. You're realizing, wow, I kind of like this person. <gasps> I'm liking someone again for the first time. What if I get hurt? You know, and then all of these thoughts come back and start to spiral. So it's not uncommon for different emotions to pop up even after a date and for you to be triggered. What is really important is recognizing what is your responsibility and what is theirs. Also be highly aware of if you're trauma dumping on your new date. I am guilty of this. <laughs> I remember, okay, I'm going to share a personal okay. story, rare moment, okay? <laughs> but I remember being on a date with someone who was of a particular culture and the same culture as my ex was. And so on this date, I will admit I was extremely triggered and I don't know if I was conscious of it in the moment, but almost the entire date I had spent just talking about what had happened. And at the end of the date, I had it dawned on me, wow, I really, it really took the spotlight here and didn't really ask too many questions about this other person. You know, it really ended up being all about my breakup and it didn't feel good and it didn't feel good for the other person either. And I recognized in that moment, you know what? This is not a good situation for me. And so sometimes, you know, we will start going down a path in or during the date or realize that the breakup was too fresh for us to start dating. It might take, you know, being in that moment to experience it. Hopefully you guys will be better than me and have some self-awareness before putting yourself in that situation, but it does happen. Uh, so be able to recognize that for what it is, take accountability. I take full accountability for that poor date. I'm sorry. If you're out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so be aware of trauma dumping. Definitely something that can happen after a breakup. What if on all of his dates after that, he just talks about the trauma dumping? <laughs> oh no. It's like a vicious cycle. Now he's just trauma dumping. <laughs> about about the traumatic date. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's possible. I went on this date one time. Oh, she wouldn't oh, stop she... talking about her ex. Like, hmm. <laughs> it's so important to engage mm -hmm. in self-care and take care of yourself and what you're going through, your needs, your fears, the overwhelming amount of anxiety. You have to get rest and you have to make sure you're considering and not just doing things blindly, mm -hmm. not just trying to get back at somebody or make them jealous or, you know, because a lot of times that blows up and makes things worse. You want to reflect on yourself and what you're going through and grow because that is the healthiest thing you can do. It's not good to just jump into something new because you're afraid of being alone, which is what a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. You wanna date again because you're ready to have a new connection with somebody or to be open to it. And you wanna be transparent, especially if they're at risk of being abandoned by you if your ex comes back. Exactly. And after a breakup, our ego is in a very vulnerable state. You know, our self-image, our self-perception, our self-worth takes a hit after a breakup. And dating, you know, introducing new people into your life that could either, you know, give you a lot of validation and attention or reject you can also impact that. You know, so being in a in a place in your own self-confidence where you are ready to date is important too. Can I go on this date and handle being rejected if if we're not a match? Can I go on this date and not have my ego be totally inflated by all these people that are interested in me now? So being self-aware is really, really important. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. So hopefully this one's been helpful to you in deciding what to do. If you're not sure, err on the side of caution. Take more time. There's no rush, especially if you really want to reconnect with your ex and make that work again. Make sure you're focused on the personal growth. 
because that is the ultimate win for you. Healing your attachment issues and learning to be more confident, that's the best thing you could do because that's ultimately going to help you with new people or reattract your ex. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. So if you want to get our help personally, you can do that on my website, AskCraig.net. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Coach Victoria is also available for Skype coaching. I'm here whenever you'd like to chat. Just click on her name at the top of the website to schedule with her. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And we will talk with you soon.